that shove is going to help. It's going to be murder. I'm going to do a straight top to bottom flight. I don't expect to find much lift out here, but what lift there is, I'll try and use. The sport is as safe or as dangerous as people wish to make it. Uh, normally we advise people only to fly under expert tuition. Uh, we share our knowledge, our aggregate knowledge, uh, with the individual members of the club and we try to ensure that people don't overstep their own ability. And yet there have been accidents and fatal accidents, though not here of course. No, there's been no uh, serious accidents here. One must expect with this as with skiing or any other sport of this nature, one must expect some bumps and bruises, but it's normally attributed to pilot error whenever people uh, fly themselves into the hill or damage themselves or the machines. Uh, the machines themselves are constructed out of very high tensile aircraft specification tubing and as a result they're very safe and uh, actual equipment failure is virtually unheard of in this sport. Well, what's the cost? The cost of a glider, uh, to begin with, to begin training, the cost of a glider would be in the order of 250 to 300 pounds. It's not cheap then. Uh, remembering that that's an initial expense, and once you have the machine, you may have a few repairs to carry out uh, over a year or so, but those repairs may only amount to 10, 20 pounds, and it is the cheapest form of flying. Uh, I personally have always wanted to imitate the birds and the feeling that I get of freedom and ease of flight on a Regalo kite is as close to that as it's probably possible to attain. Well, what sort of durations can you get? Uh, the maximum duration to date that I know of in Northern Ireland has been one hour and ten minutes. The British record is in the order of eight hours and ten minutes. But we try to stay clear of endurance records because they are, as the name suggests, only endurance records. Uh, where the pilot fatigue may cause problems on landing at the end of the flight. It looks deceptively easy, is it? It does look deceptively easy. In fact, one of the attractions of the sport is the fact that it's a lovely sport to watch, but unfortunately that is not the case when you're actually flying. When you're flying, you're working to keep the machine airborne, to use the lift that's available to you, and to pick out a safe landing site. So this is why we emphasize again that people should be properly trained and we hope in the not too distant future to be able to offer these facilities. You must first of all have a clear unobstructed landing area. Uh, you want to be able to land your glider without any difficulty of power lines, trees, houses, this sort of thing. Uh, then you must have a hill which is at least uh, 100 feet high and preferably a lot more facing into the prevailing wind with a slope of at least three in one. We are of course covered by insurance so that uh, if the worst did happen uh, nobody uh, would be at any loss through us flying on their sights. 
Can you get insurance for yourself, personal insurance? Yes, uh, personal insurance, accident and life insurance is uh, quite cheap. It's looked upon then by the insurance companies as a fairly safe sport. Oh, it is a fairly safe sport. It's a lot safer than motor racing or rock climbing or something like that.